Morning all. As many of you know, I'm the webmaster of chessworld.net. I still do uh, on most of the programming actually on the site. And recently I was updating the top 200 uh, rated players table. So there's a new summary uh, view, just one row uh, per name. So summary mode can be flipped off and on. So if you click summary mode off, uh, it will have more detail uh, with pie charts around each player's uh, wins and uh, losses, etc., and options to add to the friends list. Okay, so and you can also um, uh, do other things as well. Now let's go back to summary mode for a moment. Uh, so say we wanted to check out a particular country, we can we can jump to a particular country to see players of that country. And when you go into a specific country, it doesn't matter about the annotations anymore. For the for the global list, though, I'm trying to promote, uh, you know, annotations on the site. So, annotations are like written, you know, YouTube annotations. When I annotate a video on YouTube, that's like a video annotation, and it's a very high priority on Chessworld to try and get the top players annotating games. Uh, so, you know, for example. If we have a look at uh, the two annotations of the insider, we can click two annotations, and as a full member, you'll be able to get access to all of these uh, annotated games. And some of them are very, you know, very, very detailed and interesting, very insightful. Uh, so you get a nice uh, board here, and you can click on the moves, and you get the comments, or you can go on auto play, and it will auto scroll uh, the annotations. On, on the right. So there's a lot to learn uh, from annotations on Chessworld, which is like the written equivalent basically of, of videos. So basically yes, as webmaster of Chessworld, I'm kind of influencing the playing culture to try and get the top players to explain their moves. Now if you wanted to see the raw rating list uh, independent of annotations, you can click independent of annotations here. Um, so I, I think that's a nice, you know, feature of the site uh, that I wanted to encourage people trying to help others, you know, improve their game. Here you get the raw list, and you can see quite a few uh, that I haven't um, annotated uh, here. Uh, so that's that's the raw list. Now, also recently, I've done like recent opponents. Uh, so any of my recent opponents. A small selection here, but if I wanted a bigger selection, I can see my name where I am on recent opponents. If I do summary mode off, we'll get a bigger selection. And you know, I've been playing a bit too casually, a bit too quickly actually. So there's quite a lot of people above me on recent opponents in terms of rating. Uh, but this is a bigger selection of uh, recent opponents, and you can also do like on the friends list. Uh, so here, so relative to um, other friends. Um, by the way, my good friend uh, Fat and Mad uh, Costas carry on. This is on the site. That's not that Costas. Uh, actually, he's he's Fat and Mad. Uh, so on the site, Freq frequent opponents. Uh, so all of this is available uh, now, and you know you can switch between summary mode and. And the detailed one, so you know you can go to different countries and explore those. Uh, even, even you know, like, okay, <laughs> even Belgium. <laughs> you can, no, nothing against Belgium. Okay, even Norway, <laughs> Carlson. So we we can. Uh, so I think it's good fun. This these alterations recently, and it was part of my last system message. And I thought I should update you guys on YouTube just in case I might tempt some of you to become full members. That'd be really good. That would encourage me to do loads more videos as, as much as I can on YouTube. So, um, but I'm still doing you know quite a bit of programming on Chessworld. Of course, that's uh, that's my main thing. Chessworld.net. Uh, if you want to check it out, okay. Comments or questions on YouTube. Thanks very much.